hopefully this doesn't fall off from my little makeshift shelf I have going on here. There we go. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is with my cleanser, now you can use regular alcohol for this as well, is I'm going to just put a few pumps onto my paper towel, just like that, and I'm going to go to the nail that I'm working on, and I'm just going to clean it off. Okay, that's going to get rid of any extra oils that might be on your hand from the day. Really good to do that. Um, I've already prepped my hands previously too by washing with some dish soap and buffed them. So my nails are ready to go. What I'm going to be putting on this nail is Country Club. You can see I've used just this half and this right here um, for my jammy care that I have going on. So I'm going to be using the rest of this wrap. All you're going to do is you're going to take your orange stick and you're just going to lift it up. You want to try not to touch it with your hands because your hands have oils. So you see I'm just going to lift it up just like that. I'm going to take my heater and with the adhesive side, I'm just going to heat it up. Okay, until it kind of bends. It's nice and pliable. Then I'm going to just put it onto my nail. I want to make sure not to go near that cuticle. So you can see, that's what I got going on right now. And then I like to reheat it. And starting in the middle, I'm just going to go ahead and push it up and over. And if you don't like your placement, I, I want it to be just a little bit further over. I'm going to just pull it off a little and reheat it. There we go. I'm going to go right from the middle up, side to side, just like that. Okay, heat it up again. And I'm going to take my, my pusher, and I'm just going to make sure I get any bumps that are in there out. Okay, I'm just applying some nice pressure. And you can see that this is what I have going on right now. I've got that extra stuff hanging out. So I'm going to take my nail scissors, which come in your kit, and I'm just going to trim off the excess. Okay, like that. A step that I like to add in, just to make sure I have a really good seal, is I take a Ziploc baggie. Yep, just a plain old Ziploc baggie. And I'm going to wrap it around my nail, just like that. I'm just going to pull down really tight. It's going to look really silly for a minute. And I'm just going to hold that in, the, in front of the heat. Kind of shrink wrapping it onto my nail. You can see that now what I have is that it does have a little bit of extra hanging over. You're going to let your nail cool. Okay, so I'm just going to let it cool a little bit. And then I'm going to file. Okay, we're letting it cool. You can see that this hand's all already done. I chose to do purple, this purple butterfly, uh, for our little Miss Emma that is in the hospital right now, one of my students. Um, she's fighting something that no 13-year-old should ever have to fight. And her favorite color is purple. So I'm rocking out for Emma, if anybody's watching from Emma's fundraiser. Okay, so I'm nice and cool now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my file, okay, and I'm going to file just downward. See how I'm doing that? I'm not going up and down, okay? The only time it's touching my nail is when I'm going down. And you can see that that excess is coming right off, okay? File downward, 90 degree, or you can even do um, a 45 degree, and that'll take just the tip off. And this is what I have. I then like to go over just with a glass file. This step is totally optional, and that just I find it just gets a little bit smoother. And that's about it. That's what um, I end up with when my finished Jamicure. Okay, I'm wearing Butterfly Kisses and Country Club Glossy.